They're pretty. They're pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. I think people get reptiles a lot for like an aesthetic and beauty reason. Because a lot of reptiles are beautiful and people just see it as like, oh, this is a pretty thing I keep in my room. People don't care as much about reptiles because people will humanize their dog and say it's part of our family, it's a happy little thing and it has a personality, but then people don't really see the personality in reptiles a lot because some people say they have cold heartless eyes and people don't make a connection as much to the reptiles and they're just mm -hmm. more like a thing they keep on their shelf and they don't realize it's living. She's not a venomous no. species. No. They're a constrictor. You see how she's wrapping herself that. around there? She uses her muscles to kill and get her feed. Yeah. Can we touch the tail? Yeah. I, I offer the tail to more people because they're afraid of her face, but her face is... <laughs> she's really nice. <laughs> the majority of them we got through rescues or mm -hmm. trading. Yeah. Um, I think about half of them are from rescues right now. Like, people surrendering them to us, where they're like, I can't take care of my pet anymore, I can't afford it, or I'm like, gonna yeah. get out of my house, or like, I just can't take proper care of this animal for any reason. Yeah. Or some other ones we've gotten are, um, like a person was gonna release it into the wild, and we're like, no, 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 no. we'll come get it. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, it has to do with that, yeah. It hurts the ecosystem. Like. Yeah, especially here in Florida, since we have such a like humid and hot ecosystem, mm -hmm. it's really easy for snakes and reptiles to adapt to the Florida ecosystem. We have ten in here, and there should be one more ball python behind you in a tank. Uh, and there's one more in our bedroom, so it's eleven ball pythons. 11, well, twelve. Twelve. Ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, yeah. Twelve ball pythons. Twelve ball pythons. Um, <laughs> two yeah. hog noses. Yeah, those a two red little guys. Boa. And um, Brazilian rainbow boa. Brazilian well. rainbow boa. Yeah. So that's fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen so snakes. Yeah. <laughs> the first snakes we actually got were the hog noses. Yeah. But the first rescue we did was our um, leopard gecko Spunky. And that was yeah. actually from our neighbor, just like right yeah, across right the street across here. The street, yeah. We found her on Facebook. She's like, my cat keeps trying to eat my leopard gecko and I'm afraid for it. And I just don't want to be worried for it anymore. So we're like, okay, yeah. we'll come take your leopard gecko for you. and We'll take care of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm delete that app. <laughs> I mean, we just both really love animals, so I mean it just... Yeah. And we found a niche in the reptiles too. We found numerous people who weren't able to take care of their reptiles and were like, even like in Orlando, there's, if you search reptile rescues, a couple of them pop up on Google, but mm -hmm. they're not active anymore. Yeah, they're just not active. <laughs> We're trying to keep the pets down now, just more or less focus on rescue so we have less mouths to feed. Jerry, how, what was the total you said? 197. Ten of those were uh, jumbo. Yeah. Who's getting the uh, eight smalls and one jumbo? No, the eight smalls are for part of that frozen order with the mice I already put down. Right. This is a lot compared to what we normally get just because of the trading and I'm just getting as much as we can hold right now. This will be about a, uh, two or maybe three weeks of food. And that's uh, replenishing like 80, 90 bucks a month. I mean, lucky about this place, it's cheaper than the other place that we used to go to. Like now it's 80 bucks for three weeks versus $90 for a week, so this is a lot better. I'm a full-time student and I work part-time and yeah. he's working part-time now and yeah. that's all the income we really have coming yeah. in. So like we're not, yeah. we're, we're okay but like we could use more, like it'd be easier like, if we had like donations and help, help. Yeah. but um, yeah, but the hardest part is just getting our name out there mm -hmm. but we've only been doing this for a couple months and it seems mm -hmm. like we're gaining like, a lot of really like 
popper popularity mm -hmm. out there. Any pee, any poop, anything I should be worried about. You look pretty good. Okay. Put you back there. The thing sometimes that makes it really hard to be an actual reptile rescue, quote unquote, is because there are people out there that'll say they're a reptile rescue, but then they just want ball pythons or bearded dragons or stuff like that for really cheap so they can turn around and try to sell it for really high or breed them and sell the babies for really high and just try to make a profit out of it. And I mean, that you just gotta watch out and learn which mm -hmm. is which. And like, we do intend on breeding some of them, but the ones we get yeah. take in as rescues, we do we not do intend not. on breeding at all. No. We're going to adopt them out as pet only. We're not looking for breeders to take them in. We're looking for happy homes for them to love yeah. forever. Because they can live about 20 years in yeah. captivity. So these are pretty good lifelong pets for you. Oh, yeah. And so we're just looking for happy people.